I think that this is not an issue of women's health. It is, to me, absolutely insane that especially males would walk up here and say, you should never be able to allow to have an abortion. A passionate debate in Danville tonight. City leaders are considering a measure that would restrict access to abortions and people from both sides of the argument filled the city council chamber. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Jessica Coons. The ACLU addressed Danville's proposal saying if it passes, the city is subjecting itself to serious legal liability. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara was at tonight's Public Services Committee meeting and joins us now, Scarlett. The big question is, would this ordinance be legal? An ACLU representative was at that meeting reiterating the position the group took in a letter to the city. They say the ordinance is unenforceable under the state's Reproductive Health Act, which guarantees access to abortion as a fundamental right in Illinois. Mayor Ricky Williams Jr. explained that anyone shipping or receiving abortion pills or abortion-related supplies would be subject to fines of up to $1,500 per offense. There was discussion over an abortion clinic that may open up in Danville soon. Williams acknowledged that while he doesn't think the ordinance would stop the clinic from opening, he said it could provide a means by which they couldn't perform abortions. But one council member said internal counsel estimates that if litigation was brought against the city, it could cost up to a million dollars to defend or more if it goes all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. You won't know until the finality, which could go beyond potentially to the Supreme Court level. And, and my response to that is, are we planning to donate a million dollars to find out? Is it worth a million dollars to find out? It's worth a million dollars to win. And if we and if it and if we lose? Ultimately, the committee voted three to one to recommend the ordinance be considered by the full city council. The first step toward an outcome many who describe themselves as pro-life during public comment are hoping for. Now, also during public comment, people on one side of the debate called providing abortions a grisly business that doesn't belong in their city, while the other side says it's necessary health care, telling the government to stay out of the doctor's office.